Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're here to do my budget for June. I can't believe it is almost June already. That is so crazy to even think about. Um, but anyway, so as usual, this kit is from Caffeinated Kate. And um, I, abs I love this kit. I am kind of a little bit obsessed with this pattern. So as usual, I have all of my stickers laid out, but these flowers and this green color and the pinks and yellows, I just love them so much. But anyway, let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to lay out my Bill's stuff. I did already write them on the stickers. And these stickers are from Planner Kate. And both shops are on Etsy and both shops are linked below. But let's see. Okay, so um, T-Ball registration, uh, June 17th. But otherwise, let's go ahead and just set in my other bill stickers. Storage, Wells Fargo. I've been including this one every month, but the balance has been sitting at zero. Uh, my vision insurance. And this Microsoft, I'm going to actually, no, I canceled that one. So we're not even going to include that because I did cancel that. I found out, I thought I was paying the 1049 subscription for all of Microsoft Office. And it turns out that it was just for PowerPoint, which was ridiculous. So I did cancel that. Um, Mighty Fix. And that one might get canceled or postponed or something in the future. Um, Capital One. I've got three of these things for Capital One for two different credit cards and an auto loan. And I know that, um, and I get this a lot from my mom, is don't have the credit cards, get rid of the credit cards. This one is like pulls from my account at a different time every month. I've been including it on the 17th. But I think I'm going to put it on the 13th just because um, I think that's when it pulled in May. But yeah, um, I get it a lot. Like, don't have the credit cards. Don't spend on the credit cards. I have four. I have four credit cards. And since getting them, my credit score has boosted almost 100 points because I'm not just spending on them and not paying them, like I'm paying them um, religiously. And it's almost like with my Wells Fargo and one of my Capital One cards, I if I spend on it, I pay the balance off within, like as soon as it's posted. Um, I'm gonna put this one on the 28th because that's, I'll pay it way before then, but that's just where I'm gonna put it. Um, but I think if you don't have the self-discipline to not overspend on your credit cards, don't have them. Um, like I use my discover card for my fuel, for my groceries, for like all my household spending, like every, like almost every purchase I make goes on my discover card and then I pay it off. But I'm not... Um, like spending too much money on it where it's going to be difficult for me. I'm not getting myself in more debt with my credit cards. Um, so like I feel like it's okay for me to have them because they have helped a ton with my credit score. And But anyway, I'm going on a rant. Uh, if you, If they're going to get you in trouble, don't have them. Only get them if they can absolutely help you like they have for me. But also I wanted to show I finished off a sticker sheet. These were all of my pink stickers. I finished one off. And I love finishing these sheets off. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to set this up here. And then I am going to flip over because we have to include or we have to write down all of the bills. So I will get paid this month on the 10th and the 24th. My paydays should fall on the 8th and the 23rd, but we are starting direct deposit and our payroll person 
is basically refusing to input the payroll information on Friday if payday falls on the weekend, so we won't get it till Monday. Which, I mean, it's irritating to a lot of people I work with. I don't personally care so much because the way that I do my mobile deposit, if I get paid on Saturday or Sunday, I don't get my money until Monday anyway. So, um, to me, it's not really any different. So, I'm just going to put the 10th and the 24th, and those are both Mondays. June 24 and then variable and I don't have any student loans coming in June so I'm expecting this to be zero and I'll just go ahead and put that in now and then for my fixed expenses these are almost the same as May so we're just going to copy that so storage Wells Fargo BSP for vision insurance. Um, not Microsoft, so Mighty Fix. Capital One. Capital One. And if anybody was wondering, uh, I have the U and the S for my unsecured card and my secured card. And a few months ago, I think in April, um, the secured card became an unsecured credit line, um, but this is just how I differentiate uh, which one's which, because I have a little S on my old card that was secured. So like this is just how I differentiate. They are both now unsecured lines. Um, Capital One Auto, uh, there's no Kinder Music. Amazon free time, Discover, Pandora, Verizon. Um, I do, oh, I guess I have five credit cards because I have one with Torrid, which I don't really, um, I don't really use a whole lot. I did not use it for my big clothing spending in May but I will include it. And then I'm also going to include um, CBB collections. I'm hoping to have it paid off before then, before this, but you just never know. And I'm also going to include a line for Grove Collaborative because I don't, I don't think we'll need anything in June, but I wanna make sure that there's a line there and then let's just go ahead and quickly put these in. One ninety seven thirty nine. Yeah. Three fourteen twenty nine ninety nine two fifteen. Um, and this one is 40, 13. These I'll leave blank just because I don't know if I'll have anything on there. Okay, let's go ahead and move to my variable expenses. We've got daycare budgeted 300, fuel is 70 and I could probably go down for the summer but we'll just leave it there groceries 400 household 100 um, business I'm gonna put Etsy because that's really what I spend my business expenses on is um, my sticker kits um, so we have 130 and I don't think it'll be this high because I already have all of my kits for July from Planner Kate 
and my kit from Caffeinated Kate for July is on its way right now. Um, so this will be for August, August kits from Planner Kate and then from Caffeinated Kate if it's released yet. And then I will be having something to show you guys as far as like budget stickers go. They're not mine. Full disclosure, not my stickers. Um, but I do have some new ones on the way. And I will be sure to show you guys those as soon as I have them. But let's keep going. Okay, so I've got, I'm also doing an eating out fund. Allowance. Student loan payment. And unbudgeted. Okay, so eating out, I said 150, and this is mostly because me and a friend like to go to dinner once a week, and I don't think we'll get to go every week, but I'd like to make sure that I have the money for that, and I just, I haven't been including it in my budget at all, and I haven't been including it, like, on, in my expenses tracking. Um, I just haven't been including eating out, so I need to do that. Um, allowance is 50 student loan I said 100 and then of course unbudgeted is zero and this totals $1,300 okay and then I do want to um, make these cash I want to start like carrying cash for those kind of things and get a little bit more disciplined with that. But anyway, so here is my expenses, fixed variable, uh, my income is set up, ready to go, and then my monthly layout. So I am done, I'm ready for June, and um, I will include goals over here and down here once we get closer to the end of May because right now my goals are to pay off my debt and half of my student loan and I don't think I'll get to half of the student loan but I'm hoping to be able to pay off my it's my last non-student loan debt so non-student loan or auto loan debt but so I'm hoping to be able to do that but I will definitely include those goals as soon as I know where I'm sitting at but anyway, I'm going to end this here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.